It's, uh, Ms. Mobley has a one for every member on the dais up there. Don Fuller, 725 Huntley Drive. Uh, at the meeting yesterday, which was a heartrending meeting on the city's uh, financial quandary, uh, Pastor Fox, one thing that you said that stuck in my mind was you said the city was squeezing every penny. I wonder how that squeezing every penny went with that uh, junket you took to Washington, D.C. about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I have here on the overhead, and a, and a copy for each one of you. Can we make this a little bit easier to read? What do we do there? A little bit more. There we go. Uh, I have a copy here of the administrative policy for uh, reimbursement policy. Uh, the reimbursement policy says that uh, this is for official duties and official business and says the expenses occurred in connection with the personal portion of the trip will not be reimbursed. I have here a copy of your uh, expense report that you handed in. And uh, by the way, this was not a Corona City event that you went on. This was a Chamber of Commerce event, uh, and there was nothing official about it. Uh, your attendance was not required. It was not necessary. And your expense report, which I have right here, falsely claims reimbursements for transportation, airport, parking, and meals from October the 22nd to October the 25th. However, I have here copies of your transportation bills, which are dated from October the 19th to October the 25th. And I have here copies of your meal bills uh, and your airport parking receipt, which was dated from uh, the uh, 18th to the 25th and your meals, which were dated from the 18th and 25th. And the hotel bill appears to go from about the 18th to 24th, I think. And furthermore, I have here a copy of uh, a document from the uh, Crown Chamber of Commerce, which said that there was a $495 charge just for going to this thing, and we assume that that came uh, from the city as well. In other words, how was the sightseeing trip on Corona's dime? The taxpayers of Corona are facing, as it says right here, financial straits as it is, with one of, and enough financial straits as it is, without one of its elected officials burning through cash on what was little more than a grip and grin photo op and then falsifying the accompanying expense report. The city should not pay one damn penny of these expenses. Furthermore, during the last week or so, when we were going through this on one of the local social media threads, one of your buddies, uh, a guy that's, uh, as you are, was, is a member of the uh, Republican Party uh, uh, Riverside County Central Committee, uh, Nathan Miller, he also has some ethical issues, as you do, he uh, chimed in to try to defend you, and in doing so, he spent most of his time attacking me. Uh, let me tell you, it did not go well for him. Uh, and... What I want to know is, anybody out there think this is okay? Who out there thinks this is okay? Anybody? Raise your hand if you think this is okay. Mr. Durleth, Mr. Talbert, you think this is okay? Mr. Scott, Mr. Haley, you think this is okay? Ms. Spiegel, you think this is okay? You don't have a problem with this? This guy sitting next to you has falsified this report. I can show you on the documents right here. And furthermore, as a little side, which I've mentioned many times before, as a little side, every time he comes in here and is asked to give the invocation, he insults your faith and he should know better. So his behavior is okay with you? Is this okay with you people? Because I'm going to tell you something, it's not okay with me. Don, Don, get back All right? to the expenses. So I'm done. Thank I you. I still have a green light. I forgot to turn the damn thing on. I, so, but for true. It says green. I know it's green. I forgot to turn it on. That should not be my fault. It's not your fault, and I, that's for making up that I didn't introduce you earlier. So we're even. Thank who you. Is, who out here says this is okay? 